Coma News presents Alzheimer's disease. New drug offers hope in fight against Alzheimer's. The drug aducanumab is believed to aid in the clearing of toxic proteins hypothesized to cause Alzheimer's disease. A recent study measured brain activity of 165 participants, some of whom received the drug once a month for up to 54 weeks, while others received a placebo. Of those who received the drug, 103 experienced a reduction in the amount of tangled amyloid beta, the toxic proteins thought to trigger Alzheimer's in their brains. For years, scientists have debated whether the buildup of amyloid beta protein causes memory loss and ultimately Alzheimer's disease. In a clinical study, researchers injected the drug aducanumab in early-stage Alzheimer's patients. One or two in every thousand of the antibodies enter the brain, where they latch on to wayward amyloid beta proteins. Researchers believe that other cells called microglia then arrive and clear the aberrant proteins from the brain. The trial's results were in favor of the amyloid hypothesis, which suggests that the elimination of the protein itself might alleviate the disease's symptoms. Two larger phase three trials are now in progress and plan to run until at least 2020. Detecting Alzheimer's Years Before Symptoms Begin Researchers at Washington University in St. Louis have developed a simple blood test that may be able to detect whether a person is developing Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid plaques, the buildup of amyloid beta proteins in the brain, start developing more than 15 years before the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease start to surface. At the moment, the only ways to monitor plaque buildup are through PET scans or spinal tap procedures. Researchers have developed a new blood test that can detect the amyloid beta buildup in the brain. The test measures the amounts of three amyloid subtypes, the peptides amyloid beta 38, 40, and 42. It has been found that the levels of amyloid beta 42 are consistently 10 to 15 percent lower than amyloid beta 40 in people with amyloid plaques in the brain. The blood test is said to have an accuracy rate of 89% over 20 blood samples. Researchers plan to expand the experiment to include 180 people. Ultrasound shows promise as non-invasive treatment for Alzheimer's. Australian researchers have found that mice suffering from Alzheimer's perform much better in behaviour tests after receiving ultrasound treatment a discovery that could give hope in the battle to find a cure for humans suffering from the degenerative illness. Neurotransmitter activities are disrupted in the brain of Alzheimer's patients. Beta amyloids, a natural protein, accumulate in patients' brains, leading to the formation of plaques that can damage nerve cells. The cerebral cortex of Alzheimer's patients also shrink as symptoms progress. Scientists at the University of Queensland in Australia conducted a series of tests in which they injected a solution containing tiny gas bubbles into mice. Ultrasound helps the gas bubbles expand. The bubbles then temporarily open a gap in the blood-brain barrier, allowing the entrance of antibodies into the brain. The antibodies remove toxic beta amyloids and thus reduce the size of the plaques in the patient's brain. Researchers now plan to carry out the same tests in larger animals such as sheep. Tests in humans will be more difficult because the human skull is harder, meaning ultrasound waves cannot easily penetrate it. Signs of Alzheimer's seen in people in their 20s Researchers have found that signs of Alzheimer's disease can be seen in people who are as young as 20 years old. Researchers have discovered that amyloid plaques, hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease, can accumulate in even people as young as 20. With amyloid plaques present, a protein called tau becomes abnormal, causing microtubules inside the fibers of the brain's nerve cells to collapse. The collapse causes the fibers to twist together, resulting in neurofibrillary tangles that decay neuronal endings. Researchers at Harvard are conducting the first large clinical trial to scan the brains of healthy patients for higher levels of tau protein. Researchers at the University of San Luis Potosi in Mexico believe that skin biopsies could also detect levels of tau protein. Five million Americans are affected by Alzheimer's, and researchers believe that by 2050, 16 million will be affected. Sleep tight if you don't want to get Alzheimer's. 
A new study shows that even a single bad night's sleep could raise levels of a protein that may lead to clogs in the brain and result in dementia. Amyloid beta and tau are two proteins in the brain that are naturally produced but can cause clogs and tangles in the brain. The proteins are cleared away when the body enters slow wave sleep. Experiments have shown amyloid levels increase by about 10% with tau levels also increasing after slow wave sleep is disrupted for just a few consecutive nights in a row. Amyloid beta protein levels in excess of 10% could cause amyloid plaques that lead to dementia. Meanwhile, the increase of tau could cause tangles in the brain that lead to Alzheimer's disease. More than 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease, and many more others are expected to develop the disease as the population ages. There is currently no cure or treatment for the disease. A breakthrough in Alzheimer's research Researchers at MIT have discovered a new potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease that involves interfering with an enzyme that forms blockades in brain cells. Scientists have found that levels of HDAC2 enzymes are usually higher in people with Alzheimer's. Medical mice with the disease also have elevated levels of this enzyme. HDAC2 enzymes bind to genes called SP3, which in turn condenses chromatin and reduces the expression of some genes in the DNA. This results in the blockade of memory formation. Researchers isolated the particular section of HDAC2 that binds to SP3 and overproduced that fragment. These fragments bind to SP3, preventing it from binding to entire HDAC2 enzymes, thus allowing memory link genes to be expressed. Previous attempts at blocking HDAC2 would often trigger dangerous side effects by interfering with the production of red and white blood cells. The MIT method is the first procedure to have shown no interference with other enzymes. Researchers are investigating other ways to adapt the technique in human trials. Researchers find terrifying link between Alzheimer's disease and the very air you breathe. New research suggests there may be a connection between cognitive decline and heavily polluted air. According to U.S. researchers, elderly women who breathe polluted air, such as from car exhausts, have a higher risk of developing dementia and suffering cognitive decline. The research also suggests that women who carry the gene APOE4 have a much higher chance of developing Alzheimer's disease if exposed to similar air pollution. These dangerous particles are found in pollution from car exhaust fumes, power plants, and even burning wood. The research was led by the University of Southern California and published in the journal Translational Psychiatry. Anti-inflammatory drugs could treat depression and Alzheimer's. Scientists have discovered possible links between inflammation and mood disorders, suggesting that they could be treated with anti-inflammatory drugs. Researchers have discovered a large number of people with rheumatoid arthritis also suffer from depression. It is possible that inflammatory chemicals interrupt the brain's production of serotonin, a key neurotransmitter linked to mood. When patients were given particular anti-inflammatory drugs, improvements in both their arthritis symptoms and mood were observed. Scientists are investigating whether targeting the immune system could treat mood disorders, such as depression and neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease. The precise type of inflammation that may cause mood disorders and the anti-inflammatory drugs best suited to treating it are still under research. UK scientists develop gene therapy to treat Alzheimer's. Researchers from Imperial College London have developed a gene therapy that successfully prevents the development of Alzheimer's disease in mice. Amyloid plaques are formed by a protein known as amyloid beta peptide. These clumps of protein, which are found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease, are believed to cause the death of brain cells. Scientists added the gene PGC1-alpha to a modified virus able to target specific cells. This modified virus was delivered directly into the brains of mice suffering early stages of Alzheimer's. The gene is said to be able to prevent the formation of amyloid beta peptide, thus preventing the formation of amyloid plaques. Lab results showed the mice that were injected with the PGC1-alpha gene developed very few amyloid plaques, while untreated mice had multiple plaques. 
Imperial College London reported that previous studies have suggested physical exercise and the compound Revirotrol, which is found in red wine, may also increase levels of PGC1-alpha in the human body. However, the researchers of the new treatment technique suggest injections of the gene would be the most beneficial. Time to get to bed. If you think sleepless nights are harmless, a new study begs to differ, claiming it may be connected to dementia. Alzheimer's disease has been associated with the buildup of beta amyloid proteins in the brain, which manifests as plaques. Since sleep is believed to flush amyloids from the brain, lack of sleep has been correlated with a higher risk of the neurodegenerative disease. In a study conducted by the National Institutes of Health, amyloid levels in the brains of 20 healthy subjects were measured after a full night's sleep. When the subjects were deprived of sleep for more than 24 hours, scans revealed that the levels of beta amyloid had increased significantly. While the immediate effects of sleep loss are clear, the study failed to look at implications over a long period of time. But even without establishing causation between lack of sleep and dementia, it's clear sleep is crucial to a healthy functioning brain.